Hey, what is going on, everybody? We got some drama between Conor McGregor and Ali Abdelaziz, who is Khabib's manager. So Conor goes on Twitter and deletes a whole bunch of tweets that he put out. But luckily, my investigation team was able to pull it up. So Conor tweets out, me, Dana, Ali, gonna get you, which is some hieroglyphic type encryption. But I believe it means that Conor McGregor is gonna get Ali Abdelaziz. Ali responds with squiggly faces, which I interpret as him jokingly saying he's uneasy. But then things start to get a little bit spicier. Conor McGregor tweets out, Robert Earl Britton is the man. I had to do a little bit of research because I didn't know who Robert Earl Britton was. So evidently it's a supposed alias that Ali Abdelaziz used to have and he got in trouble for it with the FBI who used him in return to investigate terrorist groups. The FBI later cut ties with Ali Abdelaziz because they found him untrustworthy. A website says this information came from a book called Enemies Within inside the NYPD secret spying unit in Bin Laden's final plot against America. That book names Ali Abdelaziz and describes his history in the U.S. as well as abroad. However, the Washington Post doesn't report that book is accurate. As a result, McGregor and his claims about Ali may or may not be true. That's why when back in the day, Conor McGregor called Ali. My Ali, Ali, Ali. I know a lot about you as well, you might rock. Anyways, let's get back to the tweet. Ali responds saying, wrong, the eagle is, referring to as eagle is the man, Khabib's the man. Ali also quotes the tweet and says, you will never be champ again because I have an army waiting for you at 155 and 170, listing all the fighters that he manages around that weight. Conor McGregor then goes on to say decision time for the duck, referring to Khabib. Ali then goes on to say, are you feeling lonely tonight? Then he says, you said to Khabib in the cage only business, go get an IV and sober up because we know you're drunk or high. And this is when Kazmat Shemayev gets into the picture and says, don't worry, big brother, I'm going to smash this chicken for you. Now, Connor and Shemayev have been beefing before this. This article states Shemayev has already joked that the UFC should ensure he doesn't cross paths with McGregor, having traded online barbs in the past when the Irishman branded him Ratlip. Kazmat says, if I see him, something will happen. Kazmat Shemayev jokes, UFC will need to hide Connor McGregor from him on Fight Island, which we all know he's fighting Edwards three days before Conor McGregor fights Dustin Poirier. So not only will Cosmo Shemayev and Conor McGregor both be on Fight Island, Khabib is supposed to be there too to watch some of his people fight on the cards as well. Dana White wants to take advantage of this opportunity, try to convince Khabib to come back. But right now we got a whole lot of tension going on. A lot of people are going to be around each other that don't necessarily like each other so this ought to be interesting and one last thing Ali Abdelaziz tweets out Shemayev next fight will not go over two rounds the things I saw him doing the guys in the gym he should go to jail for it so we'll see what happens between him and Edwards